Hello and welcome to this video in which we will explore why hydrogen is the key to a sustainable future. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire you for a better more sustainable world. Subscribe to get all of our updates. In our effort for a sustainable future with the target of achieving net zero emissions by 2050 we have to explore all possible solutions. Over time the share of renewables has grown. Some small countries now get almost all their energy from renewables. Among the more populous countries, we have a shining example in Germany, which in the year 2020 got 44.6% of its energy from renewables. However, the amount of renewables in the energy mix, particularly in the developed countries, is reaching a saturation point. This is mainly due to the problem of intermittency of renewables. On a smaller scale, grid batteries are a solution that complements renewable energy well. But this is expensive and comes with a small shelf life. If we look at the transport sector, which accounts for almost a third of the planet's energy usage, we see that electrification has made some inroads. But for heavier long-range vehicle, be it on land, air or sea, electrification is not a possibility with the limitations of the current battery technology. So battery technology can only take us so much further. And this is where hydrogen comes in. Hydrogen as a fuel has many advantages. Firstly, the byproduct of burning or even using it in fuel cells is water. So it's clean and is very energy dense. Its energy density is around 120 megajoules per kilogram, which is almost three times more than gasoline. And the process of creating and burning hydrogen is repeatable. That is, the byproduct water can be again broken down into hydrogen and oxygen. In electrical terms, the energy density of hydrogen is equal to 33.6 kilowatt hour of usable electricity per kilogram. Hydrogen is also widely used for a variety of energy intensive industrial processes. So the technology to produce hydrogen and to store it is already developed. However, the way hydrogen is produced is what determines if it's clean and sustainable or not. Hydrogen produced commercially is given different color names to distinguish its method and material used for production. The four types that are more common are gray, brown, blue, and green hydrogen. Other than that, there's also yellow, white, turquoise, and red hydrogen. Let's look at the more common categories. Brown hydrogen is created by the gasification of coal. This process has been in use for hundreds of years. As coal is heated with water, it produces syngas, which is a mixture of several gases. These include carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, methane, and ethylene. Traces of other gases are also produced. Next we have gray hydrogen, which instead of coal is made from natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming. Although this process is more refined compared to making syngas, but it still results in a high amount of CO2 emissions. It is the cheapest and the most common method of producing hydrogen. Blue hydrogen is simply the hydrogen that comes from the steam methane reforming, but the difference is that the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide is captured and sequestered. And finally, the hydrogen that we are most interested in is green hydrogen. That is the hydrogen which is generated through electrolysis of water using renewable energy. Hence, the process of producing green hydrogen has zero emissions. It should be noted that electrolyzers used in the past were very inefficient, producing hydrogen with only half the amount of energy that was fed into them. Thus, 50% of the energy was lost in the electrolysis process. On the other hand, modern PEM or proton exchange membrane electrolyzers are up to 80% efficient. At present, the high mix of renewable energy in the grid is resulting in long periods where we have to feather down the wind turbines or dump the output of PV panels just to avoid high grid frequency. This excessive output on sunny day or very windy day can be easily used to produce hydrogen at no operational cost at all. 
For this to happen though at large scale, the cost of electrolyzer and the fuel cell has to come down. The stored hydrogen can then be used in a variety of industrial or transport applications. The cost of green hydrogen has to reach $2 per kilogram for the fuel cell vehicles and the hydrogen economy to take off. Experts have suggested that this figure can be achieved within the next 5 to 10 years. Note that grey hydrogen at present is produced at $1 to $1.8 per kilogram while green hydrogen is being produced at $2.5 to $6.8 per kilogram. Similarly, the cost of fuel cell has also come down. In the last 10 years, the prices have fallen by at least 65%. The price currently is $100 per kilowatt. To be competitive, the price has to come down as low as $35 per kilowatt. So hydrogen is a must if you want to achieve a net zero emission free future. We'll keep you posted with the developments in this regard. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.